hello and welcome to today's class on today's class i'm going to be showing you how to couple your kimono neatly after you're done making uh, after you're done doing your embroidery so someone asked me this question i will repeat it again you must you must you must you must start and finish your embroidery before you start coupling every other aspect of your gown your kimono gown blouse whichever one it is that you're working on you must do the embroidery first so here i have the neckline i've already the neck facing i've already told you how i did that in the last video where i was cutting doing the cutting so this is the second neck depth that's the neck depth that is slits on a straight Okay, so initially we did a round neckline depth of five then now this is the second neck depth so we are going to slit it straight okay um, I noticed that's not the neckline I used in the previous video so this is how to get this particular neckline it's not actually a v-neck but by the time you're done sewing it it kind of looks like a semi v-neck so this is the back piece so we're going to join shoulder to shoulder i'm going to hold it together with a pin i'll hold it together with a pin and join it using 0.5 inch sewing allowance okay so stitch it this way and stitch it this way and this is how it's going to look so the next thing we're going to deal with is the sleeve actually this material was not enough normally there is a different way I join the sleeve but because the material is not enough I want to have an extension so I'm going to have something like this so I'll just fix it like a band extension unlike the other one where I fix differently so I'm still going to post another video showing you how to add the one where we flip over but for now this one is going to be an extended sleeve so we'll fold it and get the midpoint you've seen how it was ironed half inch was ironed on the edge half inch was ironed on the edge and then it was ironed to the middle so I'm going to flip this over so that you can see the wrong side I'll pin it to the strong side so this is what I need you to do for me when you are practicing you can be watching this video and practicing to finish watching it and think you can start practicing and remember you might not entirely so you can just practice pause you could possibly put off your data if you're really concerned about data but it wouldn't take a lot of data I promise you So you pin it from the wrong side because the essence of what we're doing is that in as much as it's ready to wear and we don't have lining, we want the outfits to be absolutely and totally neat. So we pin it and stitch using 0.5 inch sewing allowance. So we're also going to do it to this particular sleeve so i'm going to have a closer look so that you see it at a closer range what i'm going to do so i'll flip this to the wrong side get the center of this uh, sleeve extension that i cut basically most times i just use about 22 by 20 uh, 22 by 5 inches then iron the gum stay to it okay so i already cut it in the last video and explain how it was done so you pin using your 0.5 inch to um and then join it using 0.5 inch sewing allowance so after we join it first we now top stitch this last part Okay, so the next thing we're going to set right now is our pockets. 
normally i use pockets that start from position 18 inches from the shoulder so from the shoulder i usually measure about 18 inches and then mark i'll get the right position i need So now that I've gotten the right position that I need, I'm going to notch it together. That's having a slight V cut, okay? So you hold it at that point, you mark, and you get your scissors and cut. <coughs> So after doing that, I'll just flip it over to the other side so that I'll be able to get the notched part. So I'll also notch it on the other area. So when we are done notching, we'll get the pockets that we've already cut. We actually cut it in the last video as well. So the same way you cut it on the other one is the same way you cut it here. So I'm going to place it starting from the notched point because that is where the pocket is going to start. I'm going to place this one. So I'm going to place it for the front. I'm going to place it for the back. So I'm going to place it front to front. That's the right side of the fabric is going to touch the right side of the pocket. So I will join it together using 0 0.5 inch seam allowance. So now this is my sewing machine, it's all set up, it's an electric and manual sewing machine but I'm using the electric components today. So you step down, you join using 0.5 inch sewing allowance, remember to back stitch so that you can reinforce your stitches and then you go ahead and sew. It's also with this machine that I'll show you how to do your embroidery if you don't have an embroidery machine at home or in your office backstitch forward stitch come forward so always remove your pins as you're sewing. Don't wait till you're done sewing before you remove your pins. It helps prevent or minimize accidents. So when you're cutting, you cut very close to the thread so that your finishings will be neat and you won't have a lot of loose threads. So normally the shoulder, the shoulder should touch. But I made a mistake while cutting my front um, facing. It was a little bigger. On the shoulder so that's why I'm trimming it off this way all right so this is what we have so after we're done with this stage we're going to top stitch round the facing from the front to the back we're going to top stitch using 0 0.5 inch seam allowance So 
so if you're watching this course on our youtube channel and you have not registered for the um the kimon the ankara arts craft course we're currently running a promo for 2000 that's we are registering before the 23rd of december 2021 you get to pay 2000 naira but after that you're going to pay 5000 to learn how to create this beautiful crafted work this beautifully crafted work on our custom made kimono dresses so just click on the link in the description box to enroll you can also call 070 3211 so we have a provision for payments in other currencies as well okay so the essence of stitching round is to enable me fold those edges easily by the time i have to hand tack with needle okay so now to the sleeves we are going to start fixing the sleeve using zero point we're going to start stitching it using zero point five inches sewing allowance so back stitch forward stitch and then you keep sewing and as you're sewing you remember to be removing your pins to avoid accidents so no matter how well you try to sew this like with your eyes you can never get it until you practice so practice 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 don't assume that you already know it practice and if you've enrolled for this course you know you have access to me you can send me a message and then i'm going to respond to your questions but if you've not enrolled for this course maybe you're watching this particular video as a free video on youtube or any of our channels please hurry now and enroll i'll be glad to attend to your questions So our 2022 session will be resuming in January, around 15th to 18th of January. So you can enroll in, at our physical fashion school, Erex Academy of Fashion. Okay, so now you flip the one on this one now on top, then you top stitch. So you top stitch neatly. So you can join our physical fashion school at 48 Nanny Street, opposite Queen School, or Green New Layout in Ugu. It's just beyond online. Like you've seen our online course, you know it's the bomb. By the time you come to our physical class, like you'll be totally and absolutely speechless. Come to our physical classes and we'll direct you to do this and so much more physically. some cutting of the excesses so I'll fold the sleeves together then I'll take a measurement of her round sleeve round sleeve divided by two in her round sleeve is 16 inches so when you divide the round sleeve by two you get eight inches so after getting the eight inches I added extra 1.5 inch is to now give us 9.5 inches then i now added extra one inch sewing allowance and that is where we're going to cut we'll cut it and connect it to the other base like this so that now we can have a mild curve 
and this is how beautiful it looks so I'm going to do exactly the same thing to the other sleeve and we'll trim as well so here we are our second sleeve is done neatly and beautifully stitched So you join it together and this. So I'm going to use it and trim this other side. So you place them together like this. Right side as the front facing the front so that it will be very easy for you to do the trimming and get the exact shape. Typically we should weave this before we start sewing. But because I'm working from home today and my sewing machine is not close is not close by it's in the office. My weaving machine is in the office, so I have to do it before weaving. So after this, I'm going to do the entire weaving process. So now we are joining the pockets together using 0.5 inch sewing allowance. So still follow forward, stitch forward, stitch backwards. So we're gradually coming to the end of sewing this very very beautiful piece. We're going to do this for all the pockets and by the time we are done, our kimono dress is almost ready. So this is what we have, we've already attached all the pockets, two to the front, two to the back, we've attached the sleeve and then the next thing we need to do is to attach the neck facing to the neck remember that this is a kimono it's ready to wear it doesn't have lining but it doesn't stop us from having a properly finished neckline so we're going to pin the necklines together remember to open seam anywhere you joined just open it up open up the one on the surface open up the one behind so that it doesn't get bulky on that area So after pinning all the way around, we are going to mark 0.5 inch sewing allowance all the way around. So if you look at this place, there are a lot of sharp corners. So when I want to mark sharp corners, get a bit closer. The sharp corner is where one line intersects with the other one so I want to maintain a sharp point like on that that's af immediately after the U you can see the sharp point we don't want to lose it we want it to still be sharp like that after making, after making the kimono so this is what we have here so most people make theirs and by the time they are done their kimono will turn from having something that looks like a mild v-neck to look like a u-neck we don't want a u-neck we want a v-neck so it's important that you know how to stitch your sharp corners very very well so i just want to get this place much better so to get the sharp corner this um, base well you might not end up having up to half inch sewing allowance on both sides you might have it on the upper part but then not on the lower part eventually so we're going to stitch all the way around the neckline 
so just be careful while you're handling your sewing especially if you don't have much experience on dressmaking remember to keep removing your pins just before you get to that point on the seam you keep removing your pins and you keep stitching open seam behind and open the seam on the surface So we're gradually getting to the sharp point. So the sharp point is the point where those two lines intersect. Okay, so when we get to the sharp point, I'll give you a special technique for sewing the sharp point. You get to the sharp point, don't run your stitch, calm down, calm down. You can wind your can wind it gradually then you dip your needle dip your needle lift the presser foot lift it then turn around when you lift it, it allows you to turn around then step it down then stitch your sharp point remains sharp So now that we are done stitching, we're going to notch it very closely. We'll notch very closely until we get close to the seam allowance. We'll notch to this point. So we'll keep notching this one all the way around. So we also have this part of the neckline. So we're going to cut very close to the stitch but not too close we'll cut a little bit more just to reduce the bulk in that area though so we can cut here a little bit more and then we could cut here a little bit more then we go ahead to the side too and then we cut so we could cut a little bit more again So that's me done with the sharp points I've notched here. So you can now just go ahead and do your simple straight notches, cutting half half inch around the neckline. Just go round, like you just go round the neckline like this at half half inch intervals. Just keep after you're done going round, you now top stitch this facing. Like you just top stitch the facing leaving the bulk moving towards the facing 